What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Tractor Seat Thoughts Live out here doing some leveling. It got me thinking about how to overcome a bad day, the days where things just aren't going right, the pressure's building, it seems like things are maybe snowballing, and instead of freaking it out and letting it just ruin maybe your second day or third day, how to just overcome that and overcome a slump out here doing some leveling, if you guys can see. And, and that kind of got me thinking about just some lessons that I've learned. I thought it was a cool metaphor that anybody could pl- could apply in their daily life. So if you can see up there, I got an old school leveler. Um, we're out here getting ready for hay. We got a big storm coming in Colorado, so I'm out ahead of my dad uh, trying to get the ground completely ready. He's there trying to plant some alfalfa before this snow comes in. We're out working really late hours trying to get it done like a lot of you farmers out there you you do what you got to do to get the job done but with you know the stress of a deadline something like that you know sometimes it just it gets to you a little bit or you have a bad day something goes wrong maybe you have a breakdown stresses you out and then maybe something you know you're stressed maybe you you snap at someone in your family you didn't really mean to do it you just it's weighing you down and I want to talk about maybe some tips that I figured out that will help you kind of overcome those bad days and a way to get that good energy going again so that one kind of bad day or one slump doesn't just snowball into something worse than it has to be. So this leveler, if you guys can see, it kind of takes the ground and it it just scrapes off the stuff at the top and if there's any low spot, the dirt just kind of rolls and then it, it falls down into the dirt. It just you know, makes the ground nice and smooth. And that's just kind of like your days, right? Every, everybody has good point, good points and bad points to their day. And so no matter in your life, just take like your, your leveler, right? And scrape off some of the good, the good parts of your day. So maybe that's your best customers. Maybe that's a dog that you take with to work. That's something that brings you joy. Like start to collect things in your life that you just, you know, you're appreciative. God, thank you for God. Thank you for that. They're in my life. I hold these deer, I'm thankful for my family, I'm thankful for, you know, these good crops, I'm thankful for these friends, I'm thankful for my amazing customers, and my amazing clients. Collect those. So when you have a bad day where there's a dip in there and instead you have something to fill out. So you're going to take something from your hopper and you're going to put it over in a bad day. So I I call it, a mentor told me like, hey Andy, you're, you're spewing rocks, right? Like things just aren't going your way. Like. Oh, I just I'm in a slump. I need some. I need something good. I need a break, right? Oh, I just I'm working so hard. I need a break. He says, Andy, go and find somebody that you know, like they love you, right? Maybe it's the dog that no matter what you do, the dog loves you. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's your best customer that no matter what you share, like they're just so thankful for the things that you've done in the past. And right now you're focusing on the things that aren't going your way. But there's that customer or that client or that family member that, you know, if you just had a phone conversation with them, they'll remind you like, hey, you know what, you are doing something good in the world. Like you did make a difference in their life. And take some of that energy and put it into that like the, the you know, that little pit or whatever, right? So take that bad time and then take some of that good energy and just cover it up. Be like, you know what, it's not all this big hole. I've had this amazing like, you know, look at my level, right? It's still got the dirt. I got something that to put in that empty space. And so that'll give you that good energy back. So go go call that customer that's you you came through in the clutch. Go call that family member that you know what they just they look up to you with respect. You know, maybe just go pet the dog that just loves you unconditionally. You know, look at your kids who look up to you like they're your heroes. You know, and just get over that bad day because We don't want that one bad thing to lead into more bad things, to lead into more bad things, right? Quit spewing rocks, go break that cycle, go take something good in your life, and just go spend some time with that, right? So that's my advice for you today. Again, I'm Andy with Farm Strong Coaching. I'm a fifth generation farmer out of Colorado, trying like crazy to get this hay planted before this storm comes in. Love hanging out with all you farmers, all you ag people in this group. Thank you so much for riding with me on the seat of a tractor. If you guys want more inspirational videos, please check out my page at Farm Strong Coaching. Love being part of this community. Thank you so much. Go have a great day. Go grow your dreams. 
and go take your leveler and level out that bad part of your life with something that you've done that's right. So I appreciate you guys. I'll check back in later. Talk to you later.